I've always supported federal recognition for the Native Hawaiian people because it's the right thing to do. It's something I've advocated for as governor, and I had success in Washington, D.C. in getting Republican co-sponsors for the Akaka Bill. I got Senator Gordon Smith, Norm Coleman, and Lindsey Graham to sign on to that bill. If I could be the next United States Senator from the state of Hawaii, it would be one of my highest priorities to gain federal recognition for Native Hawaiians. I think one of the reasons it hasn't passed in all these years is because we haven't had a Republican in the United States Senate who could talk with the senators on, on their side of the aisle. This is going to take bipartisan support. There is no way it can pass unless both parties come together to support it. And I could be the person that could bring those people together. This is the right thing to do, and I look forward to advocating on behalf of the Native Hawaiian people and all of Hawaii, because this is not just the right thing for Native Hawaiians, it's the right thing for Hawaii. It's been my great privilege to be able to take concrete action that helped the Native Hawaiian people. Because I lived on Molokai for 10 years, I developed a strong love and admiration for the Native Hawaiians. So when I became a council member on Maui and then a mayor, I was the first one to have a county government pave homestead roads. Uh, the, the county in the past and all the counties said those aren't ours, but we made a point of it and they were paved. I was also the first mayor in the state to exempt the Hawaiian homelands properties from real property taxes. The others followed suit in years later, but we were the first in Maui County. When I got elected governor, I restarted the ceded lands payments to OHA after only two weeks in office. In addition to that, I worked to grant additional leases to the Native Hawaiian people. And during my years as governor, we awarded 2,500 leases. Uh, we also partnered with OHA in building more infrastructure so that housing could be built. Uh, oftentimes, the restriction on housing is because the money wasn't there for the infrastructure. And building a partnership between the state of Hawaii, DHHL, and OHA allowed more Native Hawaiians to have home ownership. Uh, both the Native Hawaiian Education and Health Care Acts are very important, but they're not the total of the kind of help we could get from Washington for the Native Hawaiian people. Uh, if I get elected to Washington, it would be so important because then we would have a bipartisan delegation. We would have one Republican and one Democrat. And that's very important in Washington because sometimes the Republicans are in the majority and sometimes the Democrats are in the majority. And we need to have a foot in both camps at all times to make sure the issues that are important to all of Hawaii and to the Native Hawaiian people specifically, to make sure that those issues get addressed. So not only is uh, the Education Act important and health care, but also Native Hawaiian housing. I think there are a lot of ways we could get additional funding into the state that are not now being tapped. So being a Republican is going to give us additional leverage in Washington, D.C. And I'd like to be the one to bring additional support from Washington to the Native Hawaiian people here at home. Mm -hmm.